and we're back. You tuned into Sport Federation TV. Now, remember, this show is proudly brought to you by Western Cape Provincial Sports Confederation in conjunction with Bashus. Without Bashus, the show would not be possible. And every week, we give away a case of assorted Bashus drinks. Right now is your opportunity to win that case. All you need to do is SMS Bashus to 33090. That's Bashus to 33090. Congratulations to last week's winner, that's Tina Marcus. You've won a case of assorted Bashus drinks, which you can expect in the mail very, very soon. Joining me now from Cape Islands, two young athletes, two cyclists, who are here to share their experience with us and their journey. Welcome, gentlemen. We have, well, introduce yourselves to us. Okay, so I am George Perrins. I am Alexander Parsons, and I'm from Wellington. Wellington. Um, and you, George? I'm also from Wellington. I'm uh, also from Wellington. Well, before we start with the show, you said you guys known each other since grade one. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time um, since the day I started, I saw Alex, so yeah. Okay, and how did you get involved with cycling? Okay, um, so my dad used to cycle, and that's how I got into it. Um, and on the other hand, since the age of one, there was always a bike now, so yeah. Okay, so it started off as a social thing, where you were boys with their, with their bikes, and yeah. but then somewhere... You yeah. moved on to the other side. Hey, how did that happen? Yeah, pretty much when we got to around about grade 6 under 12. Um, that's like the first age category that you can take part in on the track. Uh, we moved over from <laughs> racing our BMXs in the road to taking up track cycling. And yeah, it grew from starting off on as under 12 racing to yeah where we are now we are under 23 now so yeah, yeah 10 years later <laughs> 10 years later yes. now in yeah. cape winans there's so many sports on offer and i'm sure you've been exposed to many sports in your school why have you stuck with cycling what keeps you there um look in actual fact we we on primary school we did rugby together mm. then we shifted over to hockey yeah and then we got back to cycling um, I think if you're passionate about something, that's where you're going to end up. It will just throw you back, you know. So throw you back, yeah. 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 For you, is it the same? Yeah, um, my dad was a Springbok cyclist, so the whole it's a cycling family, basically. So yeah. I've always, from day one, been riding and wanting to race, um, you know, on the road and track. And going to school, yes, the, the rugby and the hockey was quite, drew us quite, you know, mm. that we wanted to play. So we ended up doing a bit of rugby and cricket and soccer and all the sports that were, you know, on offer. But we always ended up when I think when we were under 12, we went straight back to racing competitively exactly. when we put everything else at school aside. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you think it is about cycling? Because it's different. It's different from the other sports uh, like the rugby's and the crickets and the soccer. But you love that. So I'm asking you why? Why? What's so beautiful about it? Um, with cycling, there comes a lot of scenery because you have to travel yes. a lot. So I like that part of it. And then, ah, you know, it's hard. It's different. Yeah. And there's a different pain involved. So I think that's what I like about it as well. Yeah. What have been some of the, the highlights? Because you've been competing for a long time. And I'm sure you've had many highlights. Yeah. But what have stood out for you? I think traveling every year to our national championships. I mean, whether it be Joburg. Port Elizabeth, uh, George and I have been fortunate enough to medal at quite a few national champs. So I think definitely that's one of my highlights in the career is nationally, uh, meddling nationally at, you know, track champs. And yeah, our odd, like the road events, the Argus and stuff, have managed to get on the podium there in the juniors. And so yeah, those are my highlights that I always will look back on. Mm. And even though the, the a thing like the Argus is a, is a national event, uh, it's it's attended by a lot of international cyclists yes. as well. Hey. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, I think the even the fun rider part of it. I think there's sure, probably twenty percent of it is overseas people that come in from all over the world yeah. to come and ride. Uh, what's your hopes and dreams uh, now that you've kind of done the national thing for a long time? What would you well, say is the next step for you? I think to to go overseas. I've been over, been fortunate enough to go overseas twice already, and I'd really like to go back to get on a team overseas. Would be the end goal. 
um, to get a contract on a professional cycling team. Mm. And yeah, continue going from there into the international scene mm. would be yeah, really great. <laughs> and for you? Um, yeah, I know. So that's the thing all of us as South African cyclists are chasing, you know, to get onto the international scene. And that's why I'm so happy for the fact that Uncle Kevin has pulled a prestige event to South Africa where it's become an international event. So now it takes that financial burden off us from going there and mm. bringing the top athletes to, to us on our doorstep mm. where we can compete against them. So I like that part, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely. So what's happening in your areas, I mean, to get more youth involved in cycling and that kind of thing? I think there's uh, quite a few clubs around that are developing riders. Uh, obviously, with the, the rugby being such a big thing in our community, it's quite difficult to get the youngsters because cycling is not that flashy, you know, everybody's mm. talking about the rugby and stuff. But yeah, there is lots of clubs and Kubeka is doing a whole lot of w um, charity work in handing over bicycles and the clubs are identifying talent, uh, like hosting open days on the track and on the road mm. where the kids can experience, you know, riding the bikes. Mm. And then, yeah, they get signed up in the club and get given a bike and, yeah, they get grown. Okay, lovely. Yeah, so. so the facilities are available to children who don't have bikes who'd like to try the sport. Yes. Lovely. Yeah. Now, uh, George, the, tell us about the South African Championship. Um, so, it's day three. I got an off day today, um, but on Tuesday was the scratch and elimination. Yesterday was the points. Um, it's quite hard out there. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely taking it to condition myself for the six days. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, what are the different kind of, uh, well, I don't know, e codes or disciplines in cycling that you guys participate in? Uh, so we have the, the road, which is just like we have our general road events. And then on the track, we have a few different disciplines. Like we have, you start off with the 1500 meter, and you get a 10 kilometer scratch, which is just normal race. And then you get, which is called the points, la points race, which can be anything from 20 to 40 kilometers, mm -hmm. um, where you accumulate points by sprinting every, say, 10 laps, depending on the distance. So mm -hmm. the guy with the most points at the end wins. Um, they score so you, you have to perform in all of them. Y yeah, you can choose at your national champs or yeah. uh, local track meetings which you'd like to ride. But yeah, everybody's got their favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. your favorite, George? Um, I like the points race. Yeah. 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 The points and the scratch and the elimination. Yeah, I saw you trying to score points with Uncle Kevin earlier as well. <laughs> 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 well, guys, it was very yeah. nice to meet you. Thanks I'm going to be us. talking to. Uncle Kevin, uh, <laughs> just now about the pile six that's coming up. I believe you'll also be taking part in that. Yeah. Yes, so um, my partner is going to be Graham Ockes. The two of us will be going through to the uh, six days doing it as partners. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. you as well? Yeah, I've, also, I've got a partner from Somerset West Rocker King. So, yeah, we'll be partnering up, taking part. So, okay. yeah, I'm looking forward to having the internationals over <laughs> in uh, our backyard. <laughs> yeah, lovely. And yeah. my my uh, Christmas wish for you both yeah. is that your international dreams come true. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. All right, take care. Thanks for having us. <laughs> After the break, we'll be talking to Kevin Green, who's going to give us some deeper insight into the upcoming PAL 6. Please stay tuned for that.